Scott Metal interview. Thank you to Liz from Ear Split for arranging this uh, special interview with a great talent from the Bay Area. Ladies and gentlemen, um, I'm speaking of Chad, the drummer for Necrot. So uh, thank you also to Chad for making time to speak with uh, our podcast, that Metal Interview podcast, of course, with myself, James. We thank him for making a little bit of time from his busy schedule. So as we speak to Chad, he talks to us about uh, Necrot, of course, and all the success they've had in the last couple of years, man. Their latest album, Mortal. You guys should check it out, man. Seven great killer tracks. It's sick, in my opinion. It's just sick stuff. You have to check it out, man. Necrot, N-E-C-R-O-T. The album's called Mortal. You can stream it and this and that. You can buy it, download it, stream it. Ear Split. Um, Chad uh, also jams with uh, a couple other bands that he has. Uh, projects, bands, uh, whatever you might want to call them. But they're also all badass bands. Uh, one called Mortuous. And he'll talk to us about those projects and stuff. So um, here he goes, man. Necrot's very own The Beast himself on the drums. Chad. Enjoy. New album, Mortal, Megrat, seven awesome tracks. Uh, congratulations, man. Uh, awesome stuff. Yeah, thank you very much. We're really proud of it. I call it killer death metal. It's badass. Uh, talk to us about this album, the, the process, uh, who wrote the, the riffs, the lyrics. Uh, well, um, basically, we started writing this album, um, I think, at the beginning of 2019. And then we went on uh, the Decibel Tour. And right when we got back from that, we started writing and recording uh, in April, and we were doing that for about uh, maybe like four or five months before we went on another three-month run of tours. Um, basically, Luca came up with the riffs, and he brought them to me and Sonny, and then we uh, all practiced them together. Um, and, you know, Luca was writing lyrics on the road, um, I mean, it, it took pretty much like a whole year uh, to get ready for this album. So, uh, yeah, a lot of time and effort. <laughs> well, I'll tell you what, it's not a badass. It sounds great, man. Thank you so much. How was the fan reception? Uh, now that you mentioned, uh, you just mentioned the Decibel Tour. How was the fan uh, reception? Uh, for the Decibel Tour, it was great. Um, just because, I mean, we were touring with you know, legendary bands like Cannibal Corpse and Morbid Angel and Immolation, Blood Incantation, who we're really good friends with. Um, so, I mean, just from that tour, we, we got a lot of new fans and a lot of good praise. Um, and then, you know, we did, like I said, three months of touring. After that, in the fall, uh, we went to Australia and Japan for the first time. Wow. And then we came back and did another U.S. tour for six weeks. So I think, you know, all the touring we did got us a lot of new fans that were ready to hear our new album. And I think, you know, the fan reception pretty much like all across the board was, you know, a lot of people liked it. I'm sure, you know, some people don't like it or whatever, but um, I mean, we sold... I mean, we've been on the billboard charts for like over a month now, just That's continuously awesome. selling. So I'm pretty stoked at that. <laughs> wow, I saw that. Congrats. Wow. Yeah, thank you. That was one of my questions. Uh, how was it touring with uh, legendary Cannibal Corpse and Morbid Angel? Oh, uh, man, it was so sick. Like, you know, I never thought in like a million years that I'd tour with any of those bands. But then, like, we got to tour with all three of those legendary bands that have influenced our band yeah. in one in one shape or form. And and it was like, you know, it was kind of like a dream come true, you could say. Uh, and all the bands were really cool with us. Um, uh, Cannibal Corpse, they're really chill. Same with Morbid Angel. And Immolation is probably, like, the nicest band in death metal. They're, like, the most solid dudes ever. They fucking rule. So we had a great time, and it was really cool getting to meet them and just at least uh, get to play shows with them every night. Wow, what an honor, man. Wow. I uh, I play myself, I play in a band here, lo a local band, you know, and uh, those are all just uh, name bands there, you know. We were raised with, yeah. those, with those names, and uh, we interviewed Alex 
from Immolation a couple months ago. He's a sick. Yeah, he's a he's a real cool guy. Real nice. Yeah, he's he's awesome. Yeah. Uh, how would you compare mortal to blood offerings? I think it's definitely a step up from blood offerings. Um, I mean, we we released that three years ago, and uh, in three years we've toured all over the world, um, and we've played like hundreds of shows. So I think, you know, all that playing and and all that touring has really, like, boosted our confidence and, you know, made us really, uh, like, solid players have stepped up our abilities to produce and record a, a sick second record to uh, follow up that one. So um, I think, you know, the playing's better, the delivery is better, like, you know, instrument-wise. Um, yeah, I mean, we were just, we were just really prepared. That might be the answer to my next question. Uh, maybe the touring, I'm not sure, but uh, or you know the quality of the what you just said. Why do you think the album has been so well received by critics and fans? Is what, what do you what do you think it is? I mean, death metal and um, I mean metal in general. The fans are really loyal. So I mean, we've you know we've had we've been a band since. 2011 we didn't really start playing shows till about a year after but i mean ever since we've been playing shows we've just increased our fan base and we have a lot of loyal supporters so i just think you know people who already knew the band were stoked on the new album and then you know they share the album and tell their friends about it so their friends listen to it and they like it and so on and so forth so i think it's just um yeah, I think it's just the, the fans in, in general just really holding it down as far as, um, you know, giving giving Necrot uh, a chance to perform and, and uh, uh, be be like, a, you know, an upcoming band in, in the underground death metal scene. Awesome, awesome album, man. I mean, it's, it spread like wildfire for sure, man. I've heard of you guys and I heard the stuff and it's just killer, man. So is there something you wish you did different on the album? Are you 100%? satisfied with the with the production and this and that um i th i think like if we weren't satisfied with it we wouldn't have uh you know we would have spent a lot more time in the studio but we were there for a month um yeah in total recording it so we had a lot of time to really fine tune everything we even like changed some stuff up in the studio uh last minute so um, yeah, I mean, I'm, I'm very happy with this. I mean, I think this record is definitely, like, the Necrot record to listen to. Like, everyone, you know, they love Blood Offerings. I think it's a great album, too. But I'm very, I'm very happy with how Mortal came out. And I think if people want, you know, an introduction to the band, I think they should start there. I agree. Um, <clears throat> for Drum Fanatics, um, can you tell us... Can you talk about your gear, your drum set, cymbals, etc.? Yeah, so um, I play a 2000s, uh, it's like a 2000 era Tama Rockstar kit, and um, I, I usually, like, when I'm at home, I do two 22-inch kicks, um, and if I'm on the road, it's just one. Um, and then I have, uh, I usually have, like, three racks. I have, like, a 10, 12, and a 13. And then I have a 16-inch floor. Um, and then for cymbals, I usually just use Sabian, uh, the Double AX series. Um, it's like the Double AX explosion crashes and, and all that stuff. Um, I just really like the sound of Sabians, and I'm sure, you know, it, it's so crazy how divided drummers are with their cymbals man yeah. <laughs> like, right. you know a lot of people like Zildjian a lot of people like Sabian I just like what sounds the best and what cuts through the most so it's like if I find a cymbal from a different brand that sounds sick I'll, I'm gonna fucking buy that shit right. <laughs> <laughs> agreed man I was watching some videos of you playing uh, with uh, some people don't know this but you got some other bands right uh, I'm not sure how to pronounce this but uh, Mor Mortuous yeah, you got it. Yeah, yeah it's more you're, to us. you're just a beast, man. You're you're all over the place and tempo the, the whole nine yards, man. Yeah, uh, thank you. I I love playing in more to us. I think I think more to us got some solid riffs. Is this band still active? Yeah, more to us is still active. We released an album 
Uh, in 2018, it was the first full length for Mortuous um, after being a band for almost 10 years. And it's called Through Wilderness. And um, it came, it was a co release between my label, Carbonized Records, and then uh, the label that put out the Necrot album, Tank Crimes. And um, we've, uh, you know, we've just been playing. Uh, we, we haven't been as active as Necrot just because. Necrod is like you know my main band so it always gets top priority yeah but we've done festivals uh and we we played in copenhagen we just got back from mexico we played a fest there really um yeah and then um we've we've done a uh, west coast tour and just and a lot of local shows too so um yeah i mean we we try to be as active as we can when 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 i'm available <laughs> right you got a couple of bands you got to juggle yeah yeah how about uh i was listening to uh vastum yeah that's some killer stuff man i mean yeah vastum is sick too i um i just joined the band um before we put out the newest album uh or official purge and um i'm really stoked that i was able to be on a vastum record just because vastum when i was st first starting to get into like the underground local scene here they were like one of my favorite bands to go and see and i love their recording so it's it's an honor to play in that band and and have you know uh or you know just to be able to have a chance to be on a record uh for them so it's it's really cool so are you a part of that band or are you just help them out or oh no i'm i'm a member now i play drums now so wow that's a lot of bands <laughs> but yes yeah, just i mean i've the most bands I've been in at one point was seven, so Whoa. three bands is a is a way better situation to be in. <laughs> For sure. And I saw that you help out another band called uh, uh, Worm Palace. Oh, Palace of Worms. I'm sorry. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. No. No worries. Yeah. Um. I've I've done some live shows for Palace of Worms, and um, I was also on like a rehearsal recording. I, I'm not sure if it was. Um, put out physically but it was definitely put out on um online i think like Bandcamp. Uh -huh. um but yeah um, i i just play live for them and um actually the the guy behind it um he's he's working on a new album right now and it should be coming out soon i saw that uh, i was going through the the credits and it's just one guy basically huh yep it's a it's been his band for years uh, what's been your best gig and what's your worst gig oh man um best gig i'm trying to just think of most recent um i think uh kill town death fest last year was really fun um is like for mortuous and bastion both those bands played last year and then um i think maybe for necrot um like I said, I'm just trying to think of the most recent one because, I mean, we played hundreds of shows. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so the most recent one, I think, was uh, in Melbourne. Um, we we were on tour in Australia. We played in Melbourne the first, I think it was, it wasn't the first, it was the second night that we got there. It was like, like I think like seven bands playing, but they were all like some of the sickest bands in Australia right now that were playing like both punk and metal. And it was just so cool getting to see all these bands that I've like, you know, only seen online or only heard online, and then you actually get to see them really? in wow. person in their home turf. It's like it's pretty sick. So that's cool. I think, uh, yeah, I think that was probably my most favorite uh, recent Necrot show. And uh, worst gig, um, damn, I you know like I have there's tons of crazy stories, but like. It's really hard to narrow it to, you know, yeah. whatever the worst gig was. <laughs> so, yeah, I don't know. I'd, I'd have to think on that one. Okay, I got it. So what's next for, for yourself, for Chad? Uh, what's next What's next for Neckrot, Morshawas, and Vastum, your bands? Uh, what what can fans expect from you? Well, um, I mean, with Neckrot, we just did the album, so we're just kind of laying low um waiting to get back in the touring just you know until the pandemic ends um mortuous is writing a new album um i'm trying to learn all the riffs right now at home on my practice pads and stuff so um 
you know, we're, we're doing that. And then with Vastum, it's kind of the same as Necrot, just kind of laying low. We had tour plans uh, in March of this year, and they got canceled. So we're hoping to maybe reschedule that at some point and hit the road again soon. Would you like to send a message to uh, the people listening? Um, I just want to say thank you to everybody who supported Necrot and Mortuous and Vastum over the past year with you know just buying merch or buying the album listening online we all really appreciate it and um just want to say thank you to scotty at tank crimes for putting out the album um liz at ear split for you know making everything happen behind the scenes and um yeah i think i think that's pretty much it awesome well, thank you for uh, making time, Chad. Appreciate it. Much appreciated. Thank you. Yeah, no problem. Thanks for the call. It was great. What a talent. Uh, what a guy, man. What a metalhead. This guy has a couple of bands under his belt, and he's juggling and juggling different bands. Um, as you heard him, right now he's juggling three three bands. Of course, Necrot being his uh, priority, as he said. But then he said uh, before he used to juggle seven bands. So, wow, man. Talk about um, a well-known drummer uh, with people, bands uh, look for him and, and want him to join their band. So, wow, props to Mr. Chad. And anyways, we hope you guys enjoyed Chad, our conversation with him about Neck Rot, Mortuous and all that. And don't forget to pick up uh, their latest album, Mortal, M-O-R-T-A-L, uh, Neck Rot. A fast rising death metal band that I would call. Uh, you have to check this out, man. If you haven't checked out Neckrot, if you missed them on the Decibel Tour with Morbid Angel, Immolation, and Cannibal Corpse, you missed it, man. So uh, hopefully um, this pandemic ends soon and uh, we get to, you guys get to see all your favorite bands out there. So, uh, But don't forget Neckrot, man. So uh, check it out. And thanks for downloading and uh, subscribing to our YouTube channel, social media, this and that. You know what to do. Subscribe, ring the bell on YouTube. Check us out on uh, digital formats, iHeartRadio, Amazon Music, Spotify, and so on and so forth. And don't forget to keep it metal. That metal interview.